Global happenings today. We communicate. We analyze global news. Stay tuned. Hello, beautiful people. Welcome to Global Happiness Today. Today is another legal tussle between Mazen and Namdekano and, and um, the federal government. Don't forget that Mazen and Namdekano's legal team have been dragging the federal government on all counts just to ensure that Mazen and Namdekano is free at last. Today is another day, and today a lot of things happen. The moment we're going to find out what it is that uh, may be the fate of Mazen and Namdekano and what his legal team have achieved for him. Mm, quite a long toss, I must say. Like and subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it. You see a bell notification icon. Please go ahead, click on it to get notified as soon as we update our channel on YouTube. Well, the Federal High Court sitting in Omaha, Abia State, has fixed May 12th for the adoption of brief by both parties in the suit filed by detained leader. Of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB against the federal government and two others. Justice Evelyn Anya DK gave the new date on Wednesday in Omaha after the counsel to the federal government, the president of Nigeria, and the attorney general of the federation requested for a new date to enable his team file the written address on territorial jurisdiction. Namdekano, through his lawyer, Aloy Ejimako, has sued the federal government, the president, and the Attorney General of the Federation ensued FHC forward slash UM forward slash CS forward slash 30 forward slash 2022, where he is seeking the enforcement of his fundamental human rights, which were allegedly violated uh, by federal government following his extraordinary rendition from Kenya in 2021, among other prayers. When the matter came up on Wednesday, Aloy Ejimako stood in for Namdekano, while Simon Enoch and um, Dauda N represented the federal government and the two defendants. Simon Enoch had told Justice Anya DK that the bureaucratic nature of judicial process resulted to his legal team receiving the motion of service late which could not allow them to prepare a written address on the issue of territorial jurisdiction. He pleaded with the court to give the respondent the time to prepare a written address and return for its adoption, which the judge, after listening to him, granted. Speaking to journalists after the matter, the lawyer to Nam Mazen Namdekano, Aloy Ejimako, expressed his unhappiness over the failure of the respondent's legal team to be ready with a written address even after court records showed that they were served the notice of motion by beliefs of the court as at April 8, 2022, delaying tactics, I guess. Ejimako further expressed dismay that since April 6, when the court directed the parties to file their written addresses, the respondents were yet to comply. He said that the court has agreed to allow the respondent to come up with the address on territorial jurisdiction on May 12, 2022, but disclosed that the applicant, through his lawyer, may file for a default address on the matter on the, on the set date of hearing. No matter how you do delaying tactics, no matter how long you, you, know, you parambulate, you daily dial, it is sacrosanct. The day will come. The day of reckoning will always come. Whether it is a delaying tactic, so since April 6, they're supposed to do the needful. They didn't. They now came saying, okay, because of bureaucracy, they're able to, you know, get their house in order, their arts in order, arts together. Uh, they're hoping and praying that the court should give them a short time, of which the court has shifted till May. Now, yes, for Mazen Namdekano, for his legal team, time is not on their side, and they must do everything they can to ensure that Mazen Namdekano is free, and uh, in, not just being free, but unconditionally released, as the case may be. If, of course, all other entities fail, they're looking at legal, um, the final result, you know, to free Mazen Namdekano. Now, with all these delaying taxes here, delaying taxes there, something that ought to have taken, like, a... Uh, 
two days. It should take like two months that they will now shift it. Look at Mazen Namdekano. When did he enter the country? I said June last year. That, that was uh, when he entered. June this year is going to make it approximately one year. Is he sleeping? No. Are his legal team working? Yes. But there seem to be delay here, delay there. Everybody seems to be. And if you look at Mars and American legal team, you find out that they're actually firing on all us now. The one here in U.S., Bruce Fain, is not laying the matter low. He's been sending petition and serious petition against the federal government over Mazenam the can to ICC. As if that's not enough. Then we have the normal legal team, which is being um, headed by um, Mike Ozoho, medicine advocate of Nigeria. Then we have another legal team who is managing other um, exigencies, logistics, and the rest, also being headed by uh, if I a your four. Then now we have Maslam the Kano special legal team, uh, legal counsel, which is Aloy Ejimako. I must give it to Aloy Ejimako that he has been for every place he goes on this same issue, he has been winning. The only challenge is uh, are they complying? We can look at what he won. He won um, one billion naira for Maslam the Kano up till today. Possibly even up to tomorrow, uh, that money have not been credited to Mazen Abikano's account. But it's good to know that Mazen Abikano have quite a formidable team. That um, they are they are sure of you know they're sure of the onions. They're not bothered. They just know that their house is in order. But the delaying tactics is not allowing the fireworks to flow. You know, so that let 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 each legal team you know you know showcase their their dexterity. But unfortunately. Mazen despite all this, Mazen Namdekano is in detention, and hence, that's why you're seeing the likes of um, Aloy Ejimako getting unhappy that since April 6th that he has filed this motion, he's expecting the fireworks to begin, as in the issue of legal tussle here and there, defending his team, his uh, client, he expects it to have begun already. But of course, the usual delaying tactics, okay. But whether they like, whether anyone likes it or not, uh, then the court will hear the matter. And I guess also that um, um, Aloy Jimako, having won the first stage in um, Omaha, have decided also to play his card well and keep using Omaha. But either which way, whether Omaha High Court or, or Federal High Court Abuja, or the truth of the matter is, he has been winning. He has been, honestly, he has been doing very well for Mars and the corner. Well, let's hope how this plays out. May, may it just about the corner. Whether you, before you blink your eyes and open it, we're going to be in May. And let's see how it plays out eventually. That's where we're going to wrap it up. A lot of people have been, you know, discussing this matter, saying matter here, legal there. When is Mars and the corner being released? Others are saying, look, forget about the legal tussle. They should free Mars and the corner unconditionally, regardless. That's a good wrap now. Let's meet in our conversation. What's your take?